Imagine a figure in flowing robes, a radiant smile upon his face, a beaming aura of peace surrounding him. This is our beloved, a beacon of hope and a wellspring of miracles. His name is Swamiji, a beloved figure who frequented the Crown Cinema talkies in Calicut. After his pilgrimage to Ambalapuram, he was known for his extraordinary capacity to produce sweets and food out of thin air, delighting the children and slowly drawing the attention of adults who began to approach him with their deepest desires and wishes. With a mere glance, our beloved Swamiji would fulfill these desires. His following grew day by day, his miracles captivating the hearts of many. Among his devotees was a man named Raghavan, who yearned to have Swamiji visit his home. Our beloved Swamiji, perceptive of the desires of all, did not disappoint. One day he visited Raghavan's house. There he found Raghavan's sister, a woman suffering from a chronic case of asthma. Despite various treatments, there was no relief in sight. Upon seeing her, Swamiji suggested she consume rice soup. Once she did, she experienced immediate relief, her ailment permanently cured. That night, Swamiji stayed at Raghavan's house. He asked for a long rope. Raghavan found an old rope and handed it over, puzzled, but not daring to question our beloved Swamiji. Now, it is important to remember that Swamiji is a complete yogi, a personification of Dattatreya himself, endowed with the Ashta Siddhis. These are the eight supernatural abilities, including Anima, ability to reduce one's size, Mahima, ability to increase one's size, and others. These were the capabilities that allowed Lord Hanuman to change his size at will, from that of a thumb to that of a mountain, when he flew across the sea to Lanka in search of Sita Devi. On that night, Raghavan made arrangements for two beds. After everyone had retired for the night, Raghavan woke up to find Swamiji missing from his bed. He looked around but found no trace of Swamiji. With a worried mind, he lay back down and looked up, only to find Swamiji comfortably asleep on the rope that was tied from one window to another. Swamiji was lying on the rope as comfortably as if it were a bed, turning from side to side. Raghavan watched, wanting to alert his family but found himself unable to rise from his bed. The next morning, Swamiji left for Kanaghad, a man over six and a half feet tall, comfortably sleeping on a thin old rope. This is an extraordinary miracle, unparalleled in the life history of any ascetic. Such unique miracles are countless in the life history of Lord Nityanand. Let us all worship our beloved with complete surrender and devotion, for in his presence miracles become an everyday reality. Let his story inspire us to believe in the extraordinary and to seek the divine in every moment of our lives.